Hey everyone, so this upgraded my Sony Xperia XZ, the latest version of Android, that's Android 7.0 Nougat. And this update has a lot of improvements, a lot of differences between this and the previous version, which is Android 6 Marshmallow. So in my left hand here, I have the Sony Xperia X performance, and this is still running Android 6 Marshmallow. And again, in my right hand, the Sony Xperia XZ running Android 7 Nougat. So it's giving you a rundown of it. Um, if you swipe down runs from the top, as you see here on Nougat, uh, you do have these options here, these quick settings you can click on. Just for example, click in here. And now you see I have my flashlight up. So very nice feature having these quick settings. Um, of course on Marshmallow you do not have the option. Also have improved notifications on Android 7. Of course if you swipe down again, you do have the rest of your quick settings, option to edit them. Um, but as you see here, interface is a little bit different on Android 7. Now another difference is if you swipe from the left like this, it brings up Google Now. If you do that on Marshmallow, nothing happens. Now in the camera, so some improvements made to the manual camera. As you see here, we now have options to adjust the shutter speed and manual focus as well. So two very welcome additions there. Now probably the biggest difference, biggest upgrade in Android 7 is multitasking. So let me show you how that works. Uh, I'm going to bring up a couple apps here. I'm going to do YouTube. And then I'm going to bring up a second one. Uh, I'm going to bring up Chrome. So it's going to drag us to the top of the screen like this. And again, I'm going to use YouTube here. And as you see, I can access both at the same time. I can also adjust how big the window is. And if I keep sliding down like this, it goes away. Uh, also, if I want, I can alternate between this app, the current app, and the previous one by double clicking here. Actually, let me click on that, then I'm going to double click. So, very cool feature there. Again, none of that was possible on Android Marshmallow. They've also made some adjustments to the um, messaging app. So as you see here, now just for example, let's say if I click on my camera. Now on Nougat, if you want, you can slide up like this, get a bigger view. You can also move your camera like this, this side. None of that is possible on Marshmallow. Well, actually, you, you can slide like this to the side, it's stand corrected but you can't swipe upwards like this, which you can on Android 7. Also, another big area of improvement I know a lot of people are happy about, uh, if you go into your settings. So this is just a really subtle difference here, but at the top, if you're currently on silent mode, it'll tell you. Uh, both phones are, but only on the right here you have the, uh, you have the notification. But that's not what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you to go into the battery. All right, and then if you go into stamina mode. So you see here on Android 7, you have more options. Stamina level. So for example, you can set restrictions um, and device, uh, device performance preferred. Also battery time preferred. So always good to have more options there. Also just overall battery has been improved in Android 7, uh, especially with the new dose feature. And we'll be doing a battery test uh, comparison in the future. So another feature is well, this overall the uh, this overall the experience is supposed to be improved. Now I'm not exactly sure how much faster it is in the previous version, uh, but I will be doing a lot of comparison videos on my channel. So just testing one of these apps here now. Actually, this is a different version of the app here. Uh, let me try a better one. I mean, I think that the XZ is supposed to be faster regardless. Um, 
Let's see, let me do... Actually, probably not the best comparison here. Yeah, that uses more of an internet connection, so not really relevant. Um, but let me just see Asphalt 8, for example. Yeah, so we'll be doing actual um, full comparisons on this in my channel in the future, but for now, just doing a couple tests here. Yeah, see, actually, none of these are on the same version. Um, so, yeah, that's something I will do in the future. We'll be doing speed test comparisons uh, with the XZ, with the X performance. Once I have both upgraded, I will be doing another test. Uh, we'll also be doing the XZ versus a lot of phones, including the OnePlus 3T, which just got uh, a couple of days ago. Alright everyone, so yeah, there are a lot of differences between this and the previous version. Uh, I will be doing a more in-depth video on this in the future. I know there's some features I have not covered, but for the most part, did cover the big ones in this video. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe more like this in the future, uh, especially if you want to check out those future comparison videos. And thanks again for watching.